Now in this problem, we're asked to find the, to add three fractions together. Now, as you can tell, they all have different denominators. Now, the same process is done when adding three fractions and when, when adding two fractions together. The first thing we wanna do is find the least common denominator of these three fractions. Now, I've already listed them for you, so we'll just bring it on up here. Okay, now, when we're looking for a least common denominator, we're listing all the multiples of each, of each number that's in the denominator and finding the lowest number that they all have in common. Now, in this case, it's going to be 18, okay? Now, we'll take this denominator of 18 and we'll turn each fraction to have the same denominator. Now, we'll take 1 third, and we know that it has to turn into a fraction with a denominator of 18. So, what did we do from 3 to 18? We multiplied by 6. So, if I multiply the denominator by 6, I'll also have to multiply the numerator by 6 giving me 6 eighteenths. Now, if I do the same for 1 sixth, I know that I have to have a fraction with a denominator of 18. Here, I multiplied by 3, and that means that I'll also have to multiply the numerator by 3. And we'll do that for the last fraction as well, 1 ninth. I know that it has to have a denominator of 18. I multiplied here by 2. And that means I'll have to multiply the numerator by 2, giving me 2 eighteenths. Now I'll take all my fractions with the same common denominator and I'll add them. We have 6 eighteenths, which was originally 1 third. And we'll add it to 3 eighteenths, which was originally 1 sixth. And we have 2 eighteenths, which was originally 1 ninth. Now I know that my denominator will still stay 18. And now all I have to do is add 6, 3, and 2, giving me 11. So my final answer is 11 over 18.